Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsol, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. Let us pray in this Mass that like St. Leo, we may also be faithful servants of God and of His Church so that we may become less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us now humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O 
O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on their apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Hear, O kings, and understand. Learn, you magistrates of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you who are in power over the multitude and lord it over throngs of peoples. Because authority was given you by the Lord and sovereignty by the Most High, you shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels. Because though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly and did not keep the law, nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly shall he come against you, because judgment is stern for the exalted. For the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy, but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality, nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike. But for those in power, a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princes, are my words addressed, that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and those learned in them will have ready a response. Desire, therefore, my words, Long for them, and you shall be instructed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Defend the lowly and the fatherless. Render justice to the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the poor. From the hand of the wicked, deliver them. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. I said, You are gods, all of you sons of the Most High, yet like men you shall die and fall like a prince. Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. Please stand. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. 
As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today from the Book of Wisdom is addressed to those who hold positions of power. To kings and magistrates and they were accused of not judging fairly they had biases they favored the rich over the poor they were partial in their judgments and then we are reminded by our first reading that the Lord shows no partiality. That God is always impartial in dealing with us. He does not play favorites. He loves us all equally. And this is proven by our gospel today. Ten lepers approached Jesus and asked for healing. And all of them were healed by Jesus, including a Samaritan, the one who returned to thank Jesus. Remember during that time, the Jews and the Samaritans were not in good terms. And yet, even if Jesus was a Jew and the group of lepers included a Samaritan, Jesus healed them all regardless of their race, regardless of their ancestry. Hindi naman sinabi ni Jesus doon sa sampung ketongin, sino ang mga hudyo dito? Taas ang kamay. Sila lamang ang pagagalingin ko. Pinagaling niya silang lahat, kahit na yung Samaritano na hindi tinatanggap ng mga Hudyo. This shows how impartial our God is. He loves us equally, sinners and saints alike. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Leo the Great. He was Pope of our church in the 5th century, and he was the first of only two popes given the title The Great. And he is called The Great because of the many great works he has done as chief shepherd of the church. Saint Leo the Great defended the church against many heresies and false teachings prevalent during those times. He also defended the doctrine of the incarnation of Jesus. And he did so many marvelous works in the area of liturgy of preaching, of writing, and even in politics. 
Pope Leo the Great is considered an important personality of the 5th century, not only in the church, but also in the society of those times. And in many of the writings of St. Leo the Great, many of which are still intact until now, we could glean from these writings how a shepherd he had been to the church. He shepherded the church by leading everyone, those within the confines of the church and even reaching out to those outside the church. Para kay St. Leo the Great, lahat ay bahagi ng kawa ni Jesus. Kaya lahat dapat paglingkuran, lahat dapat gabayan, lahat dapat akayin papalapit kay Kristo. My dear brothers and sisters, today we ask ourselves, are we impartial in dealing with other people? Or do we play favorites? Sa mga magulang, baka meron tayong favorite na anak, favorite na apo, favorite na magulang, manugang, na mas pinapaburan natin kaysa sa iba. Kapag ito ang humingi, bigay agad. Kapag yung iba, pinahihirapan muna natin. Do we have biases in our relationships with one another? Kapag mayaman ang kausap, maayos tayong makipag-usap. Kapag dukha ang kausap, sinusungitan, pinahihirapan. Are we neutral in our relationships with one another? Thank God, He is impartial. Just think of it, my dear brothers and sisters. What if God deals with us partially? What if God plays favorites? Paano ko ang binibiyayaan lamang ng Diyos ay yung mga mabubuti at mga banal? Paano na kaya tayo? And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us thank God for His impartiality and for loving us all equally. Please stand. God gives so much grace, healing, pardon, but we take Him for granted. We forget to thank Him. Let us bring our prayers to Him in a spirit of gratitude. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may continue to heal broken lives in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may praise and thank God for the gifts of life, faith, health, happiness, and the warmth of family, friends, and community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may always give thanks in every aspect of our lives for the love that God lavished on us by adopting us as His children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may join the saints in the worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. 
We also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, we thank you for our lives and the new life you have given us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your Church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please 
easy stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that, firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to thank Father Angel Santiago for joining our Mass this morning and for his group who is attending the Mass. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw. Father Angel is from the Diocese of Malolos and Parish Priest of San Ildefonso Parish in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. We also wish to invite you to our weekly Healing Rosary for the World. Our host tonight will be the De La Salle University community in Dasmariñas, Cavite. And we will pray in the chapel of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. And so we invite you once again this evening at 9 o'clock to gather as a family, to gather as a community, and let us together implore the maternal intercession of Our Lady, Mary, our Mother, for healing, especially of those who are sick. We ask for her prayers for everyone and for the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.